How to add reviews to Shopify store from CJ Dropshipping 2023. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and absolutely incredible day. I bring you back with yet another video and in this video we're going to be talking about something quite technical. It's going to be a video on Shopify store and how you can import Ali or you know any other CJ drop shipping reviews into it okay and it's going to be really simple it's going to be really fast and really easy to do so please do make sure to fully watch this video till the end and listen to all the instructions and information I have to provide you because if you do that properly then I guarantee you that by the end of the video you're going to fully learn how you're going to do the importing of reviews okay so Without further ado, let's get straight into it. Now, to start things off, obviously, we're going to go ahead and we're going to log into our Shopify store. Now, I already have a Shopify store, so I'm going to log it in myself. Now, if you don't have a Shopify store, make sure to go ahead and create a Shopify store. It's really simple and really easy. Just sign up with an email and uh, do so. Pretty basic and great stuff. Now, once you're signed in and everything, it's going to basically load you in. And then you're obviously going to make sure that your C2 dropshipping is properly connected with your Shopify. OK, if our C2 dropshipping is not properly connected, then obviously that is going to be an issue. So we're going to do that as well. How do we connect C2 dropshipping? Don't worry, I'm going to tell you. OK, so to connect C2 dropshipping, what we are going to be doing is basically you're going to come on this section over here. OK, and uh, you're going to go in apps. OK, it's going to open apps over here. And as you can see, it's gives CJ dropshipping right here. Now you're going to go over to CJ dropshipping as so. And once you are gone over CJ dropshipping over here, what you're going to be doing is uh, basically load CJ dropshipping up and uh, it's going to basically give you a prompt if you don't have CJ dropshipping. It's going to give you a prompt where it's going to say add app. OK, now I already have CJ dropshipping, so that's why it didn't give me the prompt. So as you can see, it opens CJ dropshipping for me. And now once we have open CJ dropshipping, obviously, you're going to import some products. Now, obviously, I am pretty sure I imported a few products. And yeah, there we go. These products I imported from CJ dropshipping. So let's go ahead and import reviews. So first of all, you're going to go over to my CJ up here. OK. Now, once we're in my CJ, basically uh, what's going to happen is uh, you're going to move over to the product section in this uh, line dashboard uh, widget. So let me show you. You're going to come down here. Uh, you're going to go on products. OK, you're going to go on connection. OK, now once you move over to connection, what's going to happen is that it's going to load all the different products and their connections up with you. So let's just wait for it to load up real quick. And there we go. That's the leather jacket that you can see over here. OK, now, once you have the leather jacket over here, you're going to make sure everything is uh, good to go and everything is fine with the amount. You're going to see the different uh, drop shippers that uh, are willing to actually drop ship the product. Um, you're also going to make sure that the title and everything is uh, accordingly over here because uh, the reviews that we're going to be importing uh, needs to be on point with the title and everything. OK, now, obviously, what we're going to be doing, we're going to open this up in CJ dropshipping. And as you can see, it opened things up uh, like this. And as you can see, pretty great and amazing stuff, because um, over here it gives you the price, like the real price. It gives you the ratings that people have given it the merchant comments and everything. So you get the whole basic outlook and just of it. Now, as you can see over here, these are your buyer reviews. OK, these are where you get your basic reviews. So as you can see, people say good quality, uh, same as the picture, et cetera, et cetera. Product complies with the description, uh, and, you know, moving on. And people have, might have also, you know, uploaded different photos of the actual product which is also pretty cool for, you know, uh, engagement with your actual audience. So, you know, it's pretty uh, great and amazing stuff to actually have for your page. OK, now, once you have these reviews, you can also see that you can import reviews over here. As you can see, it tells us now, let me tell you how you're going to do that. You're going to come up to Shopify again. You're going to do the same thing. Click on apps. 
and here you're going to write judge. Okay, just write judge. And once you write judge, an app should come up with the name of judge.me. Okay, and here we go. Judge.me product reviews. This is the app that we need to click and this is the app that we actually need to download. So once you come here, you're going to click on add app. Okay. And once we click on add app, it's going to load things up for us and it's going to add the actual app into our Shopify app store. And then what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using this app to obviously um, bring in our uh, you know basic uh, reviews from other places and then set those around in the page accordingly and uh, then obviously let's just uh, wait for it to load real quick there we go so collect and display product reviews obviously you're going to choose your language current theme of course next enable app embed obviously you're going to do that using the uh, settings and the whole you know current editor App embedding is uh, pretty simple to enable. So once you enable app embedding, what that's gonna do is it's gonna embed the codes into your actual coding. So as you can see, this is your product, right? So you're gonna enable this over here, the core snippet. Once you do that, you're gonna click on save and then we are gonna reload this page. Okay, and what this will do is obviously it will start adding the reviews using the core snippet okay and once we've uh, actually done that you're going to install the review widget into your actual embedded editor and uh, obviously once while we're doing that you can also go ahead and export reviews okay and while we're done with that here's the widget installed okay that's your review widget and to add your review widget just click on it and there we go that is how you're going to add reviews of your leather jacket and import them into your basic you know setting and then we're just going to click on continue continue uh wait let me just save this so i can find the review widget block saved and yeah let me just continue Review widget is installed, continue, and there we go. So everything is done. The review widget in, is installed. And as you saw that we imported different reviews of different users down into our product section. So, you know, pretty simple and easy stuff to add to your page. And as you can see, it's really like easy. It's not as bad as it looks so uh yeah basically that's about it for this video now if you enjoyed it please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to this channel and if you want to see more videos like this in the future let me know down in the comments below and i'll make more for you till then that was all from me thank you for watching till the end and i'll see all of you next time goodbye